2004 Nikon 8700 CCD powerhouse. Back then, eight megapixel, eight times optical zoom. This little baby has an articulated screen. She's a bridge camera and she takes CCD beautiful images. Fast forward 12 years, boom. We've got the Nikon B500. Now this is what I'm talking about. This camera has a Wi-Fi setting. This camera, you can link to your phone. This camera is a powerhouse. Let's dive in. Bridge cameras are still a huge, huge, huge market and a great deal to look out for. This is my Nikon D100. When I hold this, when I shoot with this, when I make images with this, I feel like a photographer. A SLR camera, this one's automatic. This is my Konica FS1. This little baby, when I pull the trigger on this, when I make an image with this, I feel like I'm engaged. I feel like I'm creating artwork. I feel like I'm a photographer. When I use the B500, I kind of feel like I'm just using a tool. And that's where this bridge camera really comes into its own. It is, I guess, a tool. And when you look at the reviews, a lot of the reviews online refer to it as a gadget, a camcorder, a bridge between a point and shoot and a DSLR. Wait, I guess that's why they call it a bridge camera. Wonderful thing about this camera, it takes AA batteries. In the base of the camera, AA batteries. I have my beautiful Kodaks. There's even an idiot's guide, which I need because I'm an idiot. Batteries in, on button, she powers to life. Let's talk about SnapBridge. SnapBridge is an app you can download onto your cell phone, me onto my iPhone, and I can upload my images directly from this camera to SnapBridge to my phone, and then I can download them or upload them onto YouTube, Instagram, wherever I wanna do so. That makes this a wonderful camera for vlogging. But is it any good for vlogging? How's the audio? How's the image? Let's check it out. What's up, buddy? He's a good boy. So, let's have a look at this wonderful Nikon Coolpix bridge camera. Now, the idea of this particular video is to test the audio and video capabilities of a Nikon bridge camera. This particular bridge camera is the Nikon B500. Why am I testing a bridge camera? Because they cost no money. Nobody wants them. Yes, they're super strange. They're kind of funny looking. It doesn't fit in your pocket. You don't have interchangeable lenses, but what you do get is this tiny, beautiful package. You get a 40 times optical wide zoom lens with this particular Coolpix. And what I actually really love about this particular one is it has a Wi-Fi setting. I'm actually looking for my other bridge camera, which is around here somewhere. I have a whole bunch of these. Basically, I bought a, um, I bought a lot of cameras because I wanted a particular DSLR that was in there. I wanted this Nikon D60, which was in the bunch. Um, and they threw in a bunch, a whole, a whole bunch of other cameras, um, including the D40X, which is what I got here. I was after that one. So I've got the D40X and the um, D60. And then I got a whole bunch of other bridge cameras. This is the 8700 Coolpix. Uh, this is super cool. But the reason I love the, um, the B500, what I'm vlogging on now, is because it has Wi-Fi. So I don't have to connect uh, anything to my computer. I don't have to worry about taking the SIM card out and putting it in my laptop with my hub. I can just beam this across to my laptop or my phone and edit it in Lightroom or um, iMovie and post the movie for vlogging. You could just go ahead and post straight on YouTube if you want to as well. Now the good thing about this B50 as well, sorry, this B500, is it takes double A batteries. So I don't even have to worry about going onto Amazon, buying another battery, charging the batteries. I can just get AA batteries, fire them through the camera, 
and live my best life. Now that having been said, it goes through the batteries pretty quickly. With regards to the video, it limits you to 30 minute videos. If you're doing YouTube videos, you don't really wanna do them any more than 15 minutes anyway, so be quick and be to the point. We'll do a little overview of this camera in a second. Um, I'll switch to my better camera and hopefully we'll get some better audio. The audio on this isn't very good, you can already tell, but yeah, that's my little vlog on the Coolpix B500 and I can zoom as well. See what's going on with Higgins. Hig, what's going on boy? Sat on your paw? What's that? He's a good boy. It's a good dog right there. Higgins. Oh, where's the off button? So, as you can see, if you want to use a bridge camera for vlogging, it actually does a pretty good job. That inbuilt VR, that stability, helps you with your walking around and talking about whatever it is you want to talk about. I don't think the audio is too bad. It has stereo left and stereo right. I love the fact that you can zoom in real easy with the zoom function on this button. Um, just like all the other Nikon cameras that I have, apart from the power button would be in a different spot. I also love the fact that we have an articulating screen. Makes it super helpful if you're doing those top-down shots, like when I review cameras, I can just connect this to the um, tripod on the bottom and then do my top-down uh, video editing that way. So as we can see, the LCD screen is wonderful. It has a massive screen that I can use to view and zoom into my video, which is just as good because I don't actually have a viewfinder on this camera. I love a viewfinder. And again, this is why I feel like this is more of a tool. This is more of a video camera than it is an actual camera. For me, uh, 16 megapixel, 40 times optical zoom, 1080p filming, um, the instant app that gets me to upload my images straight to my phone and then onto YouTube, a wonderful option. Now on eBay, these are still going for in the region of $100 but no one really knows about them. People are still selling them in Goodwill, in uh, garage sales, etc. because it's a dumb looking camera, I get it. So you could probably pick one of these up for 20 bucks if you have a good look. Should you buy it? Absolutely, yes, you should. This camera, the Nikon B500, for zero money if you can get hold of it, is gonna do everything you wanna do. It also has a full manual mode. We have all the adjustments at the top. It has scene modes. It has all sorts of awesome modes to help you with your photography as well. So check it out, the Nikon B500. Thanks so much for stopping in, you guys. I'll see you on the next one with another review on an odd camera that costs no money. Boom.